Welcome everybody, welcome to part four. Yeah, part four. Right, quick overview from last time, what we did. We put the floor in. Uh, I did all the skirting boards, door frame, window casings. I get a pointy stick. Uh, window casings and the picture rail. Got it all plasterboarded out. So that is the bottom, the, the round floor, should I say, all done and dusted. What we're going to concentrate on this time is doing the cellar. Now I'm just going to move that out of the way for a second. Put that somewhere safe. Now, I've made a start. I've already uh, cut out the actual shape of the house. And these little indents here is where the uh, cellar windows are going to go. But that will come a bit apparent when we get a bit further into the video. Now, I've used 50mm uh, Celotech board uh, for this, and it's just glued down to some pieces of MDF, nothing too spectacular. And if I can do this without too much glare coming off this silver foil, uh, I've marked out where my path's going to go, the road, and the building across the road, should I say, because I want this to be sort of like a alleyway type thing between two houses. Uh, what we're going to do over this corner, I don't know yet. We will get to that eventually. So, what I want to do uh, to start off with, I want to build uh, the basement or the cellar, whichever way you want, whichever one you want to call it. They're all correct. So, what I'm going to do, I'll get set up and we'll get started and I'll run through roughly how I'm going to uh, create the cellar. Okay, the cellar walls. Now, I want to put windows in the actual cellar, and I want them to be in line with the windows that we've already uh, made in the front of the house. And I want to just see that archway just peeping up above the actual ground level. So, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using a full section, and now this takes us up about three quarters above. The level of the foam board which I'm quite happy with that so that's going to be our first piece now what I've actually done is I've cut the windows down to 14 courses uh, so I've cut two of them down one for either side and then I've cut up two pieces of 10 courses and this then will make up are small window openings but I'll get just enough above the ground level so you can actually see it. Now when we did the actual top half if I remember rightly we used a we used a mixture didn't we? We used a full one where is it? Oh yeah a full and a half well one brick should I say so that will go in there that will fit in there nicely then we use another piece to just extend it out when we get a piece of bits there we go that bit will fit just to make it all equal I'm not going to try and ram that in there and the far end we put the return on for the corner so that's my layout for the front of this well the front for the cellar front so what I'm going to do now I'm going to flip this over get it all glued together and then I shall come back to you now as I was gluing this section up I thought it'd be very rude if I didn't glue up the far wall now that's just made of three full panels and the piece to return on to the the front very very straightforward now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back these up exactly the same way as I made the fronts with a cut down 14 courses plus 10 a spacer of one brick oh broke that but that'll glue together a full panel and the same again 14 courses cut down window 10 courses for the bottom and a another spacing bit for the end that's what I'm going to back that one up with this one this is going to be very straightforward and simple. 
three straight panels glued on top of each other job's a good one uh, I'm not going to overlap them for the simple reason is I'm not bothered about the strength here because they're going to be stuck to the actual foam board so they're not going to go anywhere so I'm just going to get these glued down glued together so we can actually get that into well in to make the setup okay I've been pretty busy now what I've done is I backed the front up and the side wall which we was in the last clip I've also fixed them in place uh, because once they were dry enough I just wanted to get them in and so it would dry on the actual base and they're okay I'm I'm happy with it if we turn it this way you can just see that then windows are going to be proud only slightly of the actual ground level so I'm more than happy with it now also what I've done as well is in four places I've put uh, some locating pins for the simple reason is it's sat up here a little jolt and that's going to slide off and I'd hate it if bees had it out at a show or something like that somebody knocked it and the whole lot collapsed over so it's just a, it was just a matter of drilling some holes and actually putting uh, some wire in and you watch I think you better do it from this angle we'll turn it around but it does just slot in there like that nice and neat all the way around that will hold everything in place and if it does get a knock it's not going to pull off now I'll just take that off for a second and move that back now what I'm going to do I'm actually going to slab this out now I've got some uh, 12 by 12 uh, slabs uh, these are on here I will put the mould number for these on the bottom of the screen. Uh, 12 by 12 slabs, and I'm very, very simply going to start right in this far corner, right in that far corner there, including the dead fly. In that corner, I'm not even going to put any joints between them. I'm going to button close, and I'm just going to work in lines all the way through until this bottom is completed. Now, I'll do, I'll get that halfway and then I'll come back so you can just see what's going on. So, I'm going to carry on with that and uh, I will be back in a little while. Right, all the tiling is done. Uh, I've still got a few cuts to put in, but I'm going to leave this now for a good 24 hours to dry off, then I'll do the cuts. While I'm waiting for that to dry off, I'm going to turn my attention now to the actual openings where the... Uh, windows are for the cellar now normally what they are they're normally like a concrete base at the bottom which I'm going to be using these these are uh, lintels and they're just the right thickness for a concrete base because I actually want to see it on the side here so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut some of them just to fit into that hole and glue it glue them in the same with the the far one and then I'm just going to cut some brick sections down and actually fit inside there. So I'll get on and get these cut and glued in and then I'll be back to you. Okay, I've put these two pieces in. This just makes a footing and as well as uh, tidies this up and makes it look a little bit of a floor inside that hole there. Uh, I've left it like that because I want to see that concrete bit uh, on this cut along this edge. Uh, now, well, I've done the other side as well in the other bit there. If we can take you over, you can just about see that. We've got that bit in there done. That's all we need to take the bricks. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut, well, I've already cut some bricks up. I've cut a single piece up, which I'm going to put into the back, like so. And I've done a double piece. Uh, the reason I've done a double piece here is because it's showing outwards and it would be a 9 inch wall because uh, it would be a retaining wall. These ones in here I'm just going to do single because we're going to uh, use some soldier courses and just cap them off like that around the top just to finish it off. 
So I'm going to get on with that. I shall get these glued in and then I shall be back to you. Okay, now I've glued uh, this brick working. All done and complete now. Uh, you can just about see that it's in both of them. I did have to put a little piece in the back here just to pack it out because I made the hole too big, but that's another story. Now, they're all complete and now what I want to do is uh, cap them off. Now what I'll actually be using is this this is a, a soldier course and it comes out of the mould for wall, wall and pier cappings. Uh, I will put the mould number underneath but uh, very useful. So what I've actually done now is I've cut my pieces and they're very very easy to cut and these will be glued on the top sorry about taking it out of shot I'll be just gluing them on the top like that just to finish off that top course and I'll be doing exactly the same on that so I'll get that done and then I should come back to you now the soldier course is, is on both bits as you can see so that's completed now for the moment now I will be doing a wall and a path but we will come back to that uh, the simple reason is I want to do another building if I just lift the camera up and out a little bit I don't have to refocus yet there we go now we've got the this building here with the main well, side street should I say coming into a main road now I want to put if uh, I can get it into shot on this corner here as you can see I've already cut out a section I want to build a actual corner of a house the same as this one and I'm going to do it exactly the same I'm just going to build this piece up here uh, exactly the same way as, uh, as I did that uh, I will pop backwards and forwards as, as I'm building it so you can see what I'm doing but I just want that bit of a corner here just to bring it a, a bit more height and we can give it a bit more depth as well so I'm going to get on with that and like I say I'll be backwards and forwards as I'm building it and uh, so you can see what I'm up to right, I've worked I've, these are all my sections this is the front section like we did last time uh, two pieces with the return uh, the side wall uh, that's two full sections and 16 courses to bring it up to height uh, for the front and with the return and uh, also the cellar piece and that's just one section and one return section exactly the same as the way we built the uh, near the main ha house this is just a skinnier version now what I'm going to do I'm going to flip these all over get them all glued together get them backed up and when I've done that I'll come back to you okay all the sections have been backed up they're all nice and dry so I'm ready for the next part of it well I'm part part the way there now I've actually put the uh, the cellar in basement whichever you want to call it and I'm going to do no different to what I did on the other side I'm still going to drill some holes in the top and put some location pins so this sits on top nicely but before I do that because I've only just glued it in and it's only just sat there in place I'm going to start getting this tiled out so I'm going to do exactly the same as I did the side slab it out and uh, I'll just keep coming backward backwards and forwards just so you can see uh, where I am and what's going on so I'll see you in a little while okay back to the mess and chaos here at the moment now I've tiled all the floor and I was going to show you how to do cuts which I will now what I've done I've glued in as many tile, full tiles as I possibly can and let them overhang there's a few bits and pieces that need putting in but if you do it that way uh, then just get yourself a pair of clippers side cutters and literally just cut level along the edge like so and then with a magic sanding stick we just clean that up sand it back and that will come brilliantly 
I've still got a couple of little bits there to put in, which I'm going to snip these off one here. That bit. And that bit. And uh, the bits that you cut off will actually fit into there. So I'm going to glue them bits back in. Sand in stick, sand it nice and flush. Chop is a good one. Okay, now moving on. What I've done now, I've actually cut out for the uh, cellar so I can actually get the brickwork and the cappings done and get that all finished off. No different to what I did earlier on, so I don't, no need to show you me doing that. So I'm going to get on with that in a minute. Also, what I've done is I've put the location pins bring it back into shot I'll put the location pins in so my top bit actually fits it says hopefully yes it does and what I'll do is I'll bring the camera out up and out there we go so I'm actually going to do this one uh, slightly damaged uh, because that's going to be disappearing into the distance I'd probably call it the uh, mist house or something. Now that's all done. I've cut the uh, the window the window openings out. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building some floors for this. Now I'm going to be making the floors exactly the same way as I did the other side. No different, except for I'm going to be doing both floors this time because the simple reason is that's not a very big space. And it's not going to be difficult to get in there and do things because also I want broken plaster all the way down here. So when I come to do my broken plaster, I will show you how I'm doing the broken plaster on the inside. But I'm going to get on first and get the floor done and uh, get this little bit of brickwork in here done. All these little bits that we've done on the other side, I'm now going to complete on here. And then when I get to doing the plaster I will definitely come back to you so I'm gonna get on and get a few more things done I think that's the right way to go with the damaged house it uh, it sort of balances everything up makes the diorama look a bit well equal to me anyway uh, that's just that's just me so I'm gonna get on with them bits and I shall be back with you shortly right uh, a couple of ways of doing broken plaster now what I've done, I've glued two sheets of, uh, of the plaster onto the wall. Yeah? Now the last piece of plaster, I want uh, a broken effect down this end. So what I did, instead of gluing the hole of it, I just sort of glued a uh, fashion like that. I glued all this half and just left this edge jagged. The theory being is that then you could get a scalpel have to hold this and just push behind and then start breaking the plaster away. Like so, giving you that jagged broken look. Now I've gone ahead and done that. Really, what I should have done is put my wallpaper on it and broke the pieces off and pulled the wallpaper. Then it would have, you know, tore the wallpaper as well. But I hope that's the way it goes. I just wanted to show you. So that's the first way of doing it. All right. Uh, the plaster work is completed on the first floor. Well, it's completed to the point of it's ready for dressing and petaling and, and making look more realistic as I go along. So that's the ground floor and the first floor all done on this little corner. Now if I pull the camera back a little bit we can see that we've got the, the cellar, the basement and the uh, first floor. So I'm quite happy with that, that's all complete, I can leave that. Uh, other things that we've actually done, if I turn this around slowly, is we've actually put, built the actual uh, cellar here. Now I've done quite a few photographs so you can see that because the light is appalling and I get too many shadows. So I think I'm going to have to invest in some sort of light 
that uh, I can use to actually show you but there you go it's very dark in there so that's all been completed with the cellar windows and the cellar windows have been made and fitted moving around to the front we've done the actual openings for the cellar windows they're all finished off and completed and like I said I've done a load of photographs so you can actually see uh, a lot better other things that have been finished off uh, little bits and pieces mainly the over the top of the windows all little bits uh, just to finish the the whole thing off now on this side I was gonna put in the actual cellar uh, wall and cap, cap it off but I've left it for the simple reason is I've actually got to bring I'm, I'm going to bring a wall out here and the same on this side with some railings and bits and pieces and I'm going to do that all in the next video uh, because I need to be cutting holes and everything else and I thought it was a waste of time doing that just yet so that will be coming up on the next video there's a lot coming up on the next video we'll be doing all the block paving uh, the cobbles on the actual road uh, there's going to be a drain put in manhole cover curbs, railings, railings for the tops of the uh, uh, cellars and hopefully then I should ha actually have the wallpaper which I think they're sort of hand printing this uh, wallpaper that I've ordered so I, I'm hoping that the weight is worth it so that's about it for this video uh, like I say there's a load of photographs, I'll tag them all on now. There will be a link for the uh, how to do the lap and plaster. I'll link that at the end of the video as well. And the only thing I can say now is thank you very much for joining me. And hopefully we will see you on the next one.